Good morning guys, we are now into week four of training. It's Easter Monday and I hope everyone has had a lovely Easter Sunday. Um, so we've got handstand conditioning today. We are gonna start off with, actually a wrist warm up, <laughs> I was gonna say um, leg switches, but no, we're gonna start off with a wrist warm up, then we're going to the exercises. So hands facing forwards and then just rocking forwards and backwards. If you've been following, following along since the beginning, you'll know this exercise. So rocking onto the knuckles and then back, and then forwards onto the knuckles and back. And let's just do two more to the knuckles and back. And last one, got very clicky knuckles today. And then hands from one side to the other. And then again, just rocking from side to side. And then hands facing backwards and let's just hold trying to keep the heel of the hand on the ground and then turning the hands over very lightly pressing down and relax and let's actually just swing the arms back a little bit and then bring them forwards. And then give them a bit of a shake out. And then let's get ready for the handstands. So to begin with today, we're gonna to do handstand floats. We have done these before. This is where our feet are on the ground, our hands are also on the ground. Then we're lifting up as high as we can, getting the weight through the shoulders and then back down. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise, we're going to get into an alignment exercise. So we are going to be laying on our front. If you've got a stick, you can use a stick for the arms. Head is flat down to the ground. We're going to try and create space. Let me show you from the side angle. So we're going to try and create space underneath the stomach. So you kind of pull the ribs up and then at the same time we're going to try and lift the arms. And we're just going to hold that position. So it's slightly more challenging. So to begin with we have the handstand plates. We've got three sets and we're going to do eight reps on each set. Let's make a start. Three, two, one, off we go. One, so try and get the hips as high as you can, stacking over the shoulders weight over the shoulders, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then laying on your front, head flat down to the ground, create that space underneath the stomach, Pull the ribs up, pull the belly button to your back, and let's lift the arms and breathe for 20. Pushing up for the shoulders. And 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. So that's set one. We're gonna take 20 seconds before we go into the next set. So grab a quick drink if you need it. Otherwise, we've got about another 10 seconds left. So this includes our transition time. If you need a bit longer, then just make sure you pause the video. Five, four, three, two, one, another set of eight. Hands on the floor, feet on the floor. One, try and lift the hips up. Two. Three, four, five. Keep the weight on the front of the hands as long as you can. Seven, eight. Lay in your front. Create that space underneath the ribs, lifting the belly button to the back, lifting the arms for 20. Head should be on the ground. Get the arms straight, 10, 
five, four, three, two, one, and relax. It's actually quite hard to talk and breathe when your nose is flat down to the ground. Um, so we've got 15 seconds and then before the last set and then we're moving on to the next two exercises. So let's get ready into the position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last set of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the weight through the shoulders, 7, last one, and relax, laying on your front, arms in front of your head, pulling your belly off and up to the ribs, 3, 2, 1, 20 seconds, off we go, push out through the shoulders, get the arms straight, Keep that space underneath the stomach. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. The next set of exercises we're going to be moving on to is one we haven't done before. We're going to do a leg switch against the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick up, so we're facing the wall, and then we're just going to swap the legs. Um, let me show you. So obviously I haven't got a lot of room to kick up into unfortunately. But we're in our handstand position and then we're simply going to switch from one side to the other side. We've got to engage the core, push up for the shoulders the whole time. And we're going to do 10 switches. Then we're going to come down and we're going to go straight into our V-sits, laying on our back. So we've done V-sits various times. Reaching up to touch the toes, back down, arms flat down to the ground, back up and down. So we've got 10 and we've got 10. We've got three sets again. Let's make a start. So finding a wall, getting into position, kicking up and handstand, pushing up to the shoulders. Hands should be very close to the wall and let's start with the legs. So one, two, so lightly tapping the foot. Four, engage the core, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming down. Laying your back straight into the V-sits, arms above your head, and one. Bring your arms back to touch the ground. Two, three, four, feet should hover off the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Grab a drink, we've got 30 seconds, then we've got two more sets to go. Next set, kicking up into the handstand. And 10, so bring the leg forwards. Two, three, four. Trying to float in the air with the other leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming down. And straight into our V-sets. Lay in the back. One. Two, touching the floor, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax, 30 seconds, one more set to go. So again, grab a drink if you need it, pause the video if you need to. And getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one, kicking into the handstand and ready for the switches. So letting the leg float in the air. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and coming down into our V-sets. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Next position we're doing is we're doing our L shape on the chair or box. 
and we're walking the hands in and then we're doing our shrug so pushing up to the shoulders and back down in between we are going to do our single leg glute bridges and then we've got three sets and we're going to do 10 shrugs then we're going to do 10 single leg glute bridges on each side let me just show you this l-shaped position if you haven't done it before so we're walking the hands into the feet we're pushing up to the shoulders and then we're retracting and then elevating down, down, and then we've got 10 shrugs. So 10 of those. Single leg glute bridges, laying your back, one leg up in the air, lifting the hips, slowly lowering down. Lifting the hips, slowly lowering down. So if you've been feel, following since the beginning, your core should be getting really strong now, your shoulder position should be getting really good. Let's blitz out these three sets. Starting in plank position, feet on the box of the chair, walking the hands into the feet, Nice L shaped position, pushing up through the shoulders, and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming down. Now we're moving on to the single leg glute bridges. One leg up in the air, in line with the hip, and lifting the hips. One, slowly up and then down. Control. Pull the navel in, so navel lowering down to the ground first, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep the hips high, changing legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and relax. Grab a quick drink, pause the video if you need to, then we're going to be moving on to set two. So feet on the chair or box, plank position, walking the hands into the feet, we should be in a nice L position, nice fold, and let's push up through the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming off, straight back into the single leg glute bridges, one leg in the air, lifting the hips, slowly lowering down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change legs, keep the hips high, one, two, three, four, slow and controlled. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Grab a drink again, we've got one more set to go. 20 second recovery otherwise. Just make sure when you're coming into, into this L position, you want, well the aim is to try and get the legs like horizontal and um, obviously it depends on the the my mind's going <laughs> depends on the height of the box or chair you're using um, in terms of what position you'll be in also your flexibility but the aim is to be in a perfect L position so let's make a start on the last set feet on the box plank position walking the hands into the feet pushing up for the shoulders before we start and ten strokes one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming off. Lowering down to our single leg glute bridges, one leg in the air, and then with the other leg. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and change hips high one two three four five six seven eight nine and relax so we've got our last two exercises we've got two rounds for these exercises we're staying with the l shape legs on the box 
We're coming into our plank position, walking the hands into the feet. This time we're doing our switches. So one leg in the air, stacking over the hips. We should almost get to the point where we can basically lift the other foot off. Then we we'll bring that leg down, control it. Then we're changing. We should get to the point where we're trying to lift off. Switch, try and lift off. Down, switch, lift off. So we're doing two on each leg of those. So we are trying to float that leg off. In between what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our back extensions, just normal ones, so lifting up the hips, sorry, the hips, the legs, and the upper chest, lifting up and then back down. So we've got 10 and then we've got two on each leg. We've got two sets, last two exercises today. Let's make a start. So feet on the chair, plank position, walking the hands into the feet, pushing up for the shoulders, then bring one leg up, trying to lift the other leg off, float that down, change sides, lift off, leg back down, change sides, lift off, leg back down, change sides, lift off, and then coming down onto our front. Three seconds to get into position, then into 10 back extensions, slow and controlled, up for two, down for two. Really squeeze that lower back, two, two, down, three, two, down, four. Keep this going, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Ten seconds and we've got one more set to go. This is a really good exercise for actually trying to get into that handstand position and practice balancing. So last set, last exercise. Let's make it count. Plank position. Walking the hands into the feet, pushing up for the shoulders. Bring one leg up, bring the leg off the um, chair if you can, float that down. Change, lift the leg, back down. Change, lift the leg, back down. Change, lift the leg, back down. And coming up. Last set of back extensions, laying your front. Arms behind your head, lifting up. One, two, down, two, up. Two, keep this going. Three, lifting as high as you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, well done guys, really good session today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the session. Um, if you have, please like this, like this video, subscribe to my channel, um, and hopefully see you for tomorrow's session. Flexibility. Have a lovely day.